Sometimes we all just get bored and need a change of pace. And for me, that time is now. So I'm packing my bags, loading up the car, bringing my dog, and going to Florida. My dog's not actually coming with me though. I couldn't bring him on the plane. I'm, I'm sorry, puppy. After getting to the airport, making it through security, and getting to our gate, we had a total of two hours to kill. So what exactly did we do during those two hours, you may be asking? We ate overpriced airport Burger King. Seriously, these burgers were insanely overpriced. I'm talking like $20 for two. But finally, we made it on the plane and our two and a half hour journey to Florida began. And as soon as we hopped off the plane, we called an Uber and found ourselves in the back of Osvaldo's car, which just so happens to be one of the nicest cars I've ever been in. I know I didn't get a great shot of it. It was a Mercedes and I was impressed. Although I was not exactly impressed with his driving, uh, these Florida drivers, I'm telling you. And then finally, after another 20 minutes on the road, we finally made it to the ugliest house in all of Florida. Yeah, uh, that might be my bad. I'm the one that booked it. I did look at the pictures online, and I swear it did not exactly look like this. It's a little different in person, and by different I mean ugly. I do have to say though, the pictures online did not exactly show all the dust and black mold, so there's, there's that. That part's not my fault. But yeah, I think it is definitely about time that I give you guys a house tour, and I just want to warn you that you should probably sit down and prepare yourself because you are not ready for what you are about to witness. Well, this is it. This is the house. And honestly, from the outside, it looks pretty nice. It looks like a nice house. The only thing here is um, the inside doesn't exactly match the outside. It's a bit of a shock, honestly. Low key, looks like a circus in there. Not gonna lie. Someone went a little crazy going to different antique shops, picking and choosing a bunch of random shit and putting it inside of one house. And now I am forced to stay here for the next four days. But it's okay. I did it to myself. I'm the one that booked this place. It is all my fault. It is all my doing and I take full responsibilities. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys around. Walk up to the front door and it looks pretty normal until you do this. What the hell is even that? Yeah, I uh, I really dropped the ball on this one. There's just so much weird shit everywhere. There's literally a voodoo doll in the kitchen. I mean, how do you explain that? I, I don't really I don't really consider that to be like decor. So I don't know exactly why that's in this house. And I mean, you could just see from where I'm at right now. This bedroom, it is very dark. The lighting is, um, how do we put this? Ass. That's why I'm super yellow right now. Sorry about that. But besides being super fugly, um, it's, it's interesting. I will give it that. This house is very interesting. I mean, this house has a nice, uh, creepy vibe, you know? It is a vibe. <sighs> yeah, not exactly a good one, but it's a vibe. The vibe is there. By the way, look at this, uh, look at this chair I'm sitting on. Like, what is, what is this? Who in their right mind would even buy this? Come on. But yeah, I mean, besides the way it looks and smells, it's okay. Oh yeah, I didn't even explain why exactly I'm in Florida. Basically, um, just, hey, just because. Two of my friends were already in Florida, and then it's my other friend's birthday, and then her boyfriend came, then her other friend's gonna come, and it's basically just gonna be like a big friend get-together. It's gonna be a reunion. And come on, what better place to have a reunion than Florida? Although, I, I gotta be honest, guys. This area, this neighborhood that we're in right now, it is very sketchy. I mean, as soon as you get out of the neighborhood, it is just... It is scary. Oh, and super funny story. Uh, we found a stolen laptop and purse in the front yard. Uh, my other friend Schaefer, she called the owner and she's actually gonna go and return it. But yeah, so that's the kind of things that are happening in this area, which really explains this house. I will say that this couch is actually not that bad. It might smell a little funny, but that's okay. It, is that a bed bug? As you can see, I'm currently surrounded by everything you could possibly imagine. I don't know what any of this shit is. Look at this lamp. Where do you even find this? And it's it's just stuff like that everywhere. <sighs> I just realized I haven't even shown you guys the fireplace. I mean, like, what even is that? Like, is that even a fireplace? I don't even, I don't know at this point. And like, the things hanging around it, the things on it, the thing in front of it, what, what is that? Now, what I can say is this house is definitely unique. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it a two out of 10 stars. The room I'm in right now, I am literally surrounded by windows. And I gotta say, at nighttime, it is terrifying. We were actually outside, probably at like 11.30 last night, and I swear, I heard a skinwalker. So basically, the whole plan for us being in Florida is, um, we don't, we don't exactly have a plan. We literally have nothing planned. Like, not, <laughs> not even a single thing. So yeah, we're just, we're basically just winging it. Got the group of friends together, we're all in Florida, and we're just gonna, just gonna go with the flow. Starting 
at this lovely house. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> You know what? This is the life. I mean, the house is not exactly what I wanted, but I'm back in Florida, baby. So I know so far in this video, you guys have pretty much only seen me. I swear I am not here alone. There are friends. I do have those. A couple, but I have them. And at the moment, I am alone. Actually, no. It's like, scratch that. My friend Mike is inside editing a video. Everyone else left and went to a bar. I think they're going to do karaoke. And you know what? The dedication is too real for me, and that's why I'm here making a video. So, you know what? Hit that thumbs up button. Surprise! I'm back home now. <laughs> Damn it! I swear, it literally feels like my plane just touched down in Florida, and now I'm already back home and vacation is over. Well, that's great. I mean, all I remember is I got to Florida, made it to the house, and then I blinked, and poof. The vacation was over. What the freak, man? But I have to say, that vacation was amazing. Getting away from Delaware in the cold and going to Florida where it was like 85 was incredible. And you know what? Uh, now that I think about it, I'm ready to go back. <laughs> no, I couldn't. I couldn't go back so soon. Unless this video gets a like, then I'll, I'll I'll book a plane ticket right now. Anyway, so from the video you just watched, obviously I complained about the Airbnb a lot, and there's there's some good reasons why I complained about it. First off, let me just say that I don't want to complain too much about like the decor in the house. I mean, I know it was weird, it was kind of bizarre, but I actually kind of liked it. I mean, there may or may not have been a voodoo doll in the kitchen, but besides that. It was kind of cool. Anyway, so let me go ahead and just list off a couple interesting things about this Airbnb and why it was, um, awful. First of all, it was just kind of dirty. Like, it was dusty everywhere and it kind of smelled funny walking through the door. Also, the dishes. None of them were clean. When we got there, we had to hand wash the silverware, plates, bowls, cups, everything. Next on the list was the shower. The one that I used, um, like, every single day. Yeah, it had this funny little thing up on, like, the ceiling. Um, it's called black mold. And I'm pretty sure that it ended up in my lungs. And that's why my lungs feel kind of, like, furry. <clears throat> yeah, um, so the shower had black mold and it was kind of terrifying to look at and every time I would shower, I would just stare up at it like this. <laughs> And lastly, and this one is kind of gross, so you may want to sit down. Now, I'm not going to name any names, but one of my friends may or may not have taken a dump in their toilet by their bedroom, and when they went to flush, it clogged the toilet. So they did what anyone else would do, grab the plunger, tried to plunge the toilet. It did not work, but in the process of doing that, shit started coming up from the drain in the shower. I can't make this shit up. Get it? Like shit, because they were shit in the shower. Now, I did get a small video clip of this, okay? And I'm gonna play that, but if you don't want to see this, just skip forward like 20 seconds. It gets kind of, um, how do I put this? F***ing disgusting. <laughs> what did you okay, do? It's not bad. It's not, it's, it's not bad if you don't breathe. It's not bad if you close your eyes. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so... This is like a, a scary movie scene. Ah, <sighs> man. This place was great. If you want to book it, it's on Airbnb in Tampa, Florida. <laughs>